Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, welcome to the back office. Something I have done in the past, and you can try this if you want. If you want to make this sort of hard wired, and you can buy a hard wire kit for many things, but what I have found, and I'll try this right now, you can just do a little experiment, is a lot of these, this material they use here, this sort of tin plating, actually does solder quite well. And I'm gonna do an experiment right now. We'll see if we can just solder onto the tip of that. I'm just gonna grab it. So what I tend to do is solder onto the tip of here and around this earth point and then I'll sort of bind that up with insulation tape and then find the suitable place behind my dashboard and use those you know those sort of clip on clip on splices that sort of clip onto the wire and you squeeze them with the pliers and they sort of bite through the wire they work really well just make sure you use the right sort of um, find the right you know connect uh, wire to do that the wire I'd always suggest is the wire that goes to the sort of auxiliary switched auxiliary um, lighter socket so I've got my soldering iron now, it's going to be reasonably hot, so I'm just going to try to put a blob of solder on the end. You can see there, it took it. It took the solder right there, and then if I just put this bit of wire, jobs are good. And so you can actually solder to these. So you can make your own hardwired kit this way. Do the same on the earth, and uh, then just get, I'll just demonstrate it really. I've got some insulation tape right here. It's up to you how much you want to put on, because you want to make sure it's none of this, this metal work can touch anything behind your dashboard. Remember there's a fuse in there, so if anything goes wrong with that fuse, you'll have to undo it all to get to it. But just be a little bit careful and just do, do a few layers over the end like that. Yeah, let's do another one. Get a nice big piece. So that's a layer over the end. And then just take another piece and then wrap it round the, uh, I'm gonna call it the long ways round. See, right round that way. And you can do that right down the uh, end of this, right down the shaft. And you'll have, obviously have your black wire connected to this. What you might find sometimes is one of these spring clips is actually connected and one isn't. So be a bit careful. One way of deducing that, if you've got a meter like this, you'll hear obviously continuity when it uh, touches. So if you touch one side and then touch the other, See, you can see there, there's no continuity between the two. That's a bit unfortunate because that makes it hard to test for. Um, however, let's see. I was, just, I was just actually trying to test continuity to the end of this and I didn't get continuity either. So let's, let's see how we're going to investigate this if we wanted to. How I would probably just do it is just make just solder the wire to both. So I would strip the wire long enough to go between both of those contacts and then you know you're definitely going to get it. But let's, uh, let's have a look, see if we can investigate into the end of this. Because we know this will unscrew to get to the fuse. So there's the fuse, so you can't really see anything there. We'll take that collet off. This is where it could get a little bit more uh, too adventurous for most people. Right, so I've turned it upside down and I can see just in there, I'm gonna try to zoom in. If you notice just through there, inside there, there's a wire connected to this tang so you know that this spring clip is actually the one that's connected to the uh, innards, the gubbins. But that's not too bad. So if you're gonna connect your black wire, you're gonna connect it to that bottom one in this case. You can do that little check yourself. It's not a big deal, it won't take you long. And there you go. Please feel free to leave any comments down below, click subscribe, and as ever, thank you for watching. <laughs>